everybody, CW here. Let's do a 35 caliber rifle bullet video. Um, this is what I've got for my 35 caliber rifle molds. And a couple of them are crossovers from the handgun, but by and large, most of them are specific rifle bullets. Uh, I want to apologize for the last video. I'm using a new microphone, and I thought I had a full charge in it, but apparently I didn't. So I'm going to have to try and do a, a voiceover, see if I can recover that. Otherwise, I gotta, I gotta film it again. But not that big a deal either way. This one should be okay. We're using the microphone in the phone. <clears throat> I want to make sure that's got a full charge on it. It seems to be really good, aside from that problem it didn't show me that it was out of juice but obviously that must have been what happened anyway i got it charging now so let's go through these these are my 35 caliber rifle bullets this first one is uh 190 grain ranch dog this is uh chroma chrome powder coat and this is the one i've removed the gas check shank from these are really good shooters. They're designed for micro groove um, rifling, but they work in everything, work in anything. So these would be a real good 35 Remington uh, maximum, uh, probably Legend. I've, I've got some pretty good loads for the Legend with this bullet. Um, it, it works really well. It's designed for, for hunting. So uh, I'd expect uh, good things from it. Right next to it is the same exact bullet, but with a gas check, the way it was originally designed again 190 uh, alloy dependent this is the Lyman 348 430 358 430 this was shown in the pistol bullets as well it's about 195 grain round nose it's uh, in most of the manuals plain base bullet good 35 rem uh, 358 35 whalen they make a good hunting bullet Next one up is a NOE version. I don't have the solid with this one, but I do have a cut point and a hollow point. Actually, there's three here. And a deep hollow point, deep wide hollow point. So we've got a cut point in the blue, regular hollow point in the middle, in the green. And the big deep hollow point in the black. And these are 197 grains. Sorry, I'm, they're falling out of my fingers. 197 grains as cast uh, with a solid, I believe. So these are all going to be progressively less. It's a really good uh, 35 Remington bullet. That's what I bought it for. It's, it's pretty similar to the 430 right there, the red one. Um, in weight and shape and everything, but uh, it's got hollow points, cup and uh, regular. So you could tailor this to a whole lot of different loads, and it's been a really, really good, accurate bullet. This is old school, Lyman 358 315, round nose. Been around for a long time. They also make a 250 grain version of this, which I've, I've looked for, but I do not have. Uh, maybe one day I'll pick it up. Um... It's, it's a nice bullet, not really ogivey. It performs well. It shoots pretty well. It's a nice, nice bullet. Now here we have three, three copies of the same bullet. This one here is a Lee 358-200, and I took the gas check shank off it. 200 grain, flat point, nice hunting bullet. Dynamite 35 rem, 358. Um, 35 Whalen. Here is the original. This is the RCBS version. Um, about identical profile, but just a little bit smaller meat plat. And a gas check. This one's got aluminum, aluminum gas check on it. And this is my custom color. I called root beer. I made up a whole long time ago. This one here is an NOE version of the same bullet. 
virtually identical profile, except this one's got the largest me plat of the of the three. So the the smallest is the RCBS, and then the the Lee is just a little bit bigger, and this is probably a little bit bigger than the difference between the last two. And this bullet shoots well, performs well. It's a really nice one. These next three are my favorites. <clears throat> These two here are the same bullet with different um, hollow point pins. And this one is 20 grains heavier. So let's look at these here. These are the MP358-200. And it's a gas check bullet. It's the same profile as the RCBS 200 flat point, but it's got hollow points. And there's actually, is that a Penta? No, it's not even Penta. There's even one more pin here. So this is the big hollow point pin. This is a small hollow point pin. And then there's a Penta point. So there's one more bullet that should be here that I didn't pull out. <clears throat> <clears throat> Sorry, excuse me. This one shoots really good. I've taken a couple deer with it. It expands really nicely. It works really good. I'm really, really happy with it. It shoots good in the Legend. It shoots good in the in the Maximum. I have not tried it in any of the others. But it's a really nice bullet. It's probably my favorite, all-time favorite out of the whole bunch here. This one here is borrowed from my friend up in New Hampshire, Bob. And it's his favorite bullet for the 358. And it's it's a good one. We've tested this one quite a bit. <clears throat> one hollow point pin, and it's a smaller hollow point pin. But it's okay because it's it's a smaller, as in rifle, where you don't really need a big hollow point to uh, initiate expansion. And these cast and wheel weights, uh, launched with Reloader 7, have done really, really well for him. I've got a few boxes loaded myself. It's It's a nice bullet. It shoots really accurate. And it's a good game bullet. 220 grains. Here's that Lyman bullet again. 358, uh, 627. About 225. Keith style. Semi-wad cutter. With a gas check. This is just a really nice bullet. And again, you can use this in all the 35s. Um, from You probably can't use it in 357 mag. I shouldn't say can't. It's going to encroach quite a bit on powder capacity. It's going to get so deep into the case, it might be into the taper of the case. So you might bulge your case and not be able to chamber it. I'm not sure. I haven't tried it. But it works good in the... Lead, in the uh, it works okay in the Legend. It's my long-standing favorite for the Maximum. So there's that. I've shot this in uh, 35 whaling quite a bit, and it's a really nice bullet. This one here was bought for the 358. This is an NOE. 360, uh, 232 is the number for this one. It's about 230 grains, wide meat plat. It it's a tad ogivey. Uh, hasn't been a problem. I can I can crimp it in the top crimp roof, and it works okay in most of the guns. Sometimes I got to crimp a little bit, but this is a really good bullet. Uh, I believe I've done one deer with this bullet, and uh, it's 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 devastating. That wide meat uh, me plat. Um, cast in the right alloy, it just it punches a big hole all the way through. This one here has been around a long time. This is also a well, a well uh, respected bullet, made by Seiko, 245 grains. It is a 350, no 353. What is this one? Uh, <clears throat> I don't remember the numbers on this one off the top of my head. But it is a Seiko, and it's a it's a 245 grains. Uh, gas check bullet and it's also a slightly scaled up version of the 35 200 so it looks a lot like the 220 there from mp which are copies of the rcbs and it looks a lot like these three here which are all copies of the same um i believe the original being the root beer one from rcbs this one here took a lot of tracking down this is from mountain molds and it's about 270 grains. It's it's kind of uh, reminiscent of a Laverne style, but it, it lacks um, some of the attributes to make it a Laverne bullet. But it's got multiple lube grooves. It's got a good-sized meat plat on it. It would make a really nice hunting bullet. 
Um, I do not have the mold. I was gifted the, the bullets. I shot them and they shot really good. And I spoke with the guy and I don't remember if he said he couldn't find the mold or he had it lent to somebody else. But he sent me uh, what bullets he had left, uh, cast and wheel weights. So I've got a fair supply, but uh, I'd really like to have the mold because I like it. It shoots good. Here is an accurate bullet I bought for the Whalen. And this one here is a 36 270C, 270 grain bullet. And it, it shoots really, really good. A uh, good friend of mine used this bullet on Black Bear with the Maxi. He shot this bullet in the 357 Maximum. I don't remember the velocity he got. I want to say it was in the 1600 range. But I know he used, used 1680 powder. And it worked really good for him. He got a really good mushroom. He got through and through penetration. And even at that velocity, it was a, it was a really good bullet. Again, cast bullets are just dynamite. And this last one is a 36 310 D, I believe D. Uh, it's a slick side, 310 grain bullet I bought as a heavyweight for use in the, what I call the big lady. That's my Norma Magnum, 358 Norma Magnum. And I've got a really good load that I kind of fell upon. I tried to make some improvements and make some changes, but everything wasn't really as good as the very first load that I had. It's a little faster than I want it. It's just over 2,000 feet per second. But this bullet at 2,000 has got some serious horsepower behind it. And uh, my buddy likes to call it my T-Rex gun. It would certainly uh, be a penetrator. These bullets I cast here are pretty hard. They run right at 310 and they're unbelievably consistent with that number there'll be a few tenths up or down but they, they're they're almost always 310 or 311 on the button and for you know one one point like that over 300 grains that's that's really good for a cast bullet so there we go there's my selection of 35 caliber rifle molds with a couple pistols thrown in um, of all the calibers I, I would say 35 is probably my most my most favorite um, I always, always like the 35 and, uh, well, you can tell by the molds. <laughs> All right, everybody. God bless. Leave me some comments. Let me know what you think. And, uh, you know, I've sent a few of you some of these bullets, so post up what you thought of them when you tried them and, uh, let me know this one in particular. I was, I was, I discovered it from another friend of mine, Tommy boy, who, uh, lent me the mold back a couple years ago and I cast up a whole bunch and recently this uh this spring they finally got them back in stock uh at MMP and I was able to grab a two cavity I really wanted a four cavity and uh stupid me well not stupid I waited a long time I jumped as soon as I saw the mold available but like a week later he offered four cavities but I already had a two two is okay four is better <laughs> all right I've already said my goodbyes Thanks everyone for stopping by. I hope you appreciate the video and I will be working on that 10 millimeter video next. Thanks everybody. God bless.